Shabbat Shalom. In Parshat Pikudei, the final portion of the book of Exodus, the Torah sums up the intricate details of God's instruction for building the Mishkan, the tabernacle or temporary structure that our children would carry through the desert after the Exodus from Egypt. This portion is particularly concerned with the details of what the Mishkan was built of, blue, purple, and crimson yarns, the skins of rams and dolphins, refined sheets of gold and twisted linens. According to the Midrash, the sages understood the Mishkan to be a microcosm of the universe itself, with each of its aspects corresponding to another part of creation. Legend tells us that all of the components of the Mishkan were completed to Moses' satisfaction, and he blessed all the Israelites who had created such beauty. The building project united the 12 tribes of Israel in a very powerful way. They came together with a common goal and became as solidified as a nation. When Moses had finished the assembly of the Mishkan, the Torah describes God entering and occupying the tabernacle, seen by the people as a cloud and fire. The portable dwelling place for God is now complete. So it is that on the first of Nisan, three months after completion, that, quote, the cloud covered the tent of meeting and the glory of God filled the sanctuary. The month of Nisan in the spring is truly a time of rebirth. It has always and will continue to be a time of redemption for all of us. On this Shabbat, may we all learn to appreciate the presence of God in our lives. May this Shabbat bring us closer to a time of peace and health for us, for those in Ukraine specifically, and for all those spread around God's beautiful but complicated world. As we end the second of the five books of the Torah, we say together, Chazak, Chazak, Venit Chazek. Be strong, be strong, and let us strengthen each other.